So, what are you guys' names? My name is Deborah. Kenny. You guys are siblings? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you guys have the same mom, same dad? Same mother, different daddy. Okay. And where'd you guys grow up? Well, with me, we was both born in Hensdale to Page County, two counties outside of Joliet. He was adopted first because he's two years older than me. I'm 38. He's 40. I was adopted at 18 months old. I was born as a crack baby. And they found out and let me know when I became 18 years because I'm 38 years old. As I was being adopted, my first adopting parents, the mother wanted me, but she became sick. So the father said he didn't want me no more and gave me back. And that's when they placed me in the same foster home with my brother, Kenny. She loves kids, and she's black too. She adopted seven foster kids, including I was the last one. And Kenny, she was good to you? I mean, it wasn't so bad, but not, not being able to know your parents is definitely damaging. Okay, and how did you, it make you guys feel when you found out a little bit more information about your birth mother? There's a lot of feelings of anger, frustration, sadness, depression. Basically, I was more pissed off. I was pissed off at, at, at my father because of the, some of the things that he said. Uh, he wanted to, to kill my sister. He, he said that she should have never been born to just kill her right, right away, put her out of the misery so she didn't have to go through life. And I thought that was wrong. It, it caused depression. I had to take medicines, pills. That, that messed me up. That, I, they didn't really want to damage us and, and tell us the story of what happened. We were too little. Basically, they didn't want to further and damage our mental ability. Kenny, I want to ask you, uh, growing up in a predominantly black family mm -hmm. and kind of being like the only white guy, maybe even in the area, like, how was that? Well, you know, it, it, there's a lot of, you know, jokes and, uh, and stuff, but, you know, and people pick at me. Uh, a little bit. Some people have different opinions. Uh, some people are, you know, really open. Uh, I've found in my belief that in, in the beginning there, there was, instead of seven, all the continents, it was all one and the, the tectonic plates and volcanoes. No, it's not about being adopted in a foster family. Not well, it, it's, it's not always easy, but I bring diversity in my family and I definitely, I, I love them, so. Basically, it was hard for him. Because like I said in the beginning, we have the same natural mother, but different father. And your mother was Caucasian? Yeah, our mother was black. Your mother was black? Our foster mother and our natural mother. Oh, okay. And your, your mother's black too? Yeah. Your mother? No. Your foster mother. My foster. But your real mother is? White. White, right. okay. So the different mother. Right. So you guys have different mothers and the same dad? Yeah. Okay. I was under the impression that you guys had the same mom and different dads. No, no. Okay. That makes sense. No problem. Okay, so we got the same dad, different mothers, um, a majority black family as far as the foster family or adopted yeah. mother. Well, he was like a, 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 a pretend, you know, racist or that he, he had a fetish for, for black women too. Well, forget that. all that. But never, never mind that. Yeah, well, but you know, it's, it's, still, it's good to know that though, because it's like, you know. You know people it's that like, are faking to be that, you know, yeah. on, one, on one end and that, you know, what they really like is what they like, you know. So he had his dislikes the, for black people, but he did have a fetish for black women. Yeah, exactly. And I would, he would we'd go to the bars in the 80s and it, he would take me around and I, I, I've seen, i seen. I had visits with him sometimes. I still don't want to talk. I, I don't, I don't, I don't like that, what, what he was doing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we grew up drugs. in a foster mother, with a foster mother who was black. He shouldn't have had any visitation at all. And right. I thank God they kept her away. Cause that's all what gonna get Very up. sick man. So your, so your dad was pretty, messed up yeah he was yeah, alcoholism drugs 
And and he was the one that introduced you to as drugs. Know, my my yeah, for as far as from my my mother not hers, but he'd been slipping drugs to the women. So that, maybe that's why. I, so I he was know, known for kind of slipping. Yeah. Okay. My yeah, I I definitely did not like his behavior. And he, he would take you to the bars at times. Yeah, the visits, while he yeah, would yeah, slip. He was, yeah. I, uh, don't. Yeah. I never want to have any visitation with him. I still don't want to see him. Uh, and yes, I will put a bullet in his butt. And he was a police officer? Yep. In the 80s. Yeah. That's deep, guys. What was the first drugs that he introduced you to? Cocaine. He, he, he put a gun in my head and made me do lines. Well, it was written on my medical papers at birth that I was born with drugs in my system. Mm. So I'm considered a crack baby. And then, then we had, uh, I, I'd gotten us a house, but I didn't insure it over in this area. I was living in Los Angeles for about 10 years and I came back. I, I, I tried to strike out and, and, and rebuild my life alone. And then I came back for her and then I, we had the house and then there was an electric fire and I didn't insure the house, it burned down. And that was about a good two, two and a half, and a half years, years ago. ago. And from that point on, We've been in between places, like from a friend of mine, from his house, but he just got informed that he ain't got too long to live at the age of 80, cause he's a retired military veteran. And he got three types of cancers in the fourth stage. And there's nothing that Jesse Brown's medical center can do for him. We uh, off and on were staying in, uh, you know, garages and anywhere we, where we could stay really. And, um, we oh, we, in. that, our neighborhood, it makes sure that we stay clean, though. <laughs> so we ain't smelling body wise. We got our shots for the cobra and all that. We, that was free. As long as Sam ain't got a word about when us down getting money about us. About this time of night, like three in the morning and stuff, we be trying to find a place to lay our heads down. If our friend is not in the hospital, just like I said, because you know, that cancer shit is nothing to play with. Then we, we lamp at his house. But when the morning time comes, we get up, we go to Walgreens. Long as we don't harass the customers by asking for a little food, if they can buy for us or something like that. Or they give us change. We save that until we get enough where we can go and get some nice hot food. And our friend, we go back to his house. He got electricity and stuff. We don't mess with his food because he don't get enough food. Sometimes we bring him food. Yeah. They say he has like a year to live. And that adds to our depression. Mm. I am now pronounced mentally, chronically depressed. That means even when at a goldfish, I cry. I am on Trileto and so Zolo. Trileto helps for bipolar and uh, uh, mild seizures. You did have a seizure the other day. I, I a few scared. days back, yeah. I get them when I am over my maximum capacity, when my brain can no longer control them, and my body is just wore out. Mm-hmm. But just kind of fell over with my Zola, up, that's only to help my full depression, to keep me from going into a full depression stage while I feel suicidal. Well, I want to harm myself. There's been times where I had to restrain, restrain you. Or just stay up for hours walking around in the streets to get me to not doing a change in my mind. But we are trying to change our situation for being fully homeless. But I'm okay for the day. So today was a good day? Yeah. We're basically, we're trying to make it. Put it this way. Don't give up for the ones that are like us. Keep fighting, keep living, keep surviving, and keep believing in God. Because life is more than what you presume. Spread my blessings to all the people that I feel are needy to. And don't look down on people like us. It can happen to anybody. There's still people that be like, can you spare any change? We're one of them. We use your money to eat on, to keep living. Without y'all help, we would have been dead already. We would have been done.
can't save you now. Pick a plow, look, your mama can't save you now. Pick a plow, when you see, don't come.